Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Minecraft build today. We're gonna build a skeleton, so let's get cracking. Alright, first I cannot mention this enough. These are Jack's creations. I showed him a creeper. He has been having a blast making all these. Friends, let's use his skills to make one really quickly. If you haven't already built the bow, I have a separate tutorial for that. I'll have a link up above so you can get your bow built. Friends, we're going to start, of course, with a cube. If you hold down shift and stretch it to any number, we want to type size 5 and press enter. I'm going to use fit view to zoom in on this little guy. I'm going to choose to make him this gray right here. You'll notice that Jack has a custom gray. You can get to the custom colors here. I'm going to just stick with this because it's easier for me. Let's build one leg by doing five millimeter nudge and then control D and one click. And then we're gonna select both of those and do control D and one click forward. This is gonna make our leg. So friends, we need to make a bunch of these. Check out how cool this is. By selecting them, I can tell that they're 60 high. Since these are five high, that means I need a total of 12. So we need 11 more. If we select the entire four and do control D and control up, that's one of the total of 12. So we need 10 more. So if we do control D without touching anything else, that's the 10th, the 9th, the 8th, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we can double check that we're right by selecting this and making sure it says 60 as well. It does, so we can do control D. And now we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and boom, our legs are complete. Let me show you another magic trick. Bam. Arms, same size as legs. So I'm going to get an angle where I can just grab that entire piece. I'm going to do control D and there is arm number one. I'm going to grab this entire chunk and do control D and this is arm number two. I will place them later. I'm just building them. Now, if we zoom in on the hip bones, it is the exact same as the leg, but it goes one past and it's three coming out. So let's just take the top of this leg and I'm gonna grab it by just drawing a rectangle that touches them. I'm making sure it says four. If you get a num different number, just make sure you try again. Notice I'm doing a real thin rectangle, so I'm sure that I get it. I'm gonna do control D and control up to raise it up. And then I'm gonna click on these two right here. I'm gonna shift click and do control D and I'm gonna come at myself so there's the three with the one sticking out and now I'm gonna select these three notice I'm doing shift click two click three making sure I have them control D and let's go over there and then I'm gonna select these three right here shift click 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 notice it sometimes takes a couple chances to get all three and then without touching anything else control D there's one and if I do control D again and again and again and again, boom, I have just created the first row of legs. You won't have this in your way, but I'm going to hide mine really quick. I don't mind that it hides this little arm either. And now I can easily grab this entire top row. It says 24 control D and we can do control up and bam, hips are built. I'll bring back our template. Let's check out this torso piece. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it has two pieces built in right here. So we can just grab the arm minus the bottom pieces. And let's do control D. And let's move it out. And let's hit D to drop it and make sure it is ten high. So friends, if we do some quick math on this. Bam, it is size 50, so we know it's perfect. I can now take this and put it on top. Friends, I love this trick. D to drop, and then we just gotta nudge it into place. One click forward. How do you like that? Real quickly, I'm gonna put the work plane back down to the ground, and let's get this arm in the right spot. If you look back here, the arm goes to the same height as the hip, and then it is one brick out. So I'm gonna move over so right now I'm touching that brick. That's perfect. So now I'm gonna go one out, 
and then I'm just going to do control up until it is at the same height. I'll do the same thing on this side. Nudge in till we touch the hip, go one out, and, and then control up arrow. Never mind that oops where I went down, and boom, we have got the arms in place. Now don't forget friends, Jack did all the legwork on making this. I am just mimicking his design, which is way easier than when he looked at the pictures, counted the blocks, and actually made this project. So I'm gonna go to the top shoulder and notice it connects all the way across. We're gonna select the first brick and do control D, and then we just need to nudge it across. There's my cross move, and if I do control D again and again and again, they connect. I'm gonna click on the next end one, control D, once again tap, and control D, control D, control D, until it connects. Notice he left it open here, so we don't have to do that again. We do have to go down two bricks, and we're gonna do the same thing. Once again, let's do the same thing. It is control D, find the arrow key that moves over, mine was the up arrow, and then control D again and again. I'm gonna click on that last one again and do control D, and I'm gonna tap that arrow again, and do control D and D and D. Just like that, let's take a look. We have got his back connected. All right, friends, let's zoom in on these four right here. I'm gonna use fit view so I can get close, then roll back, and we're gonna do shift click to get all four of them. Make sure it says four, do control D, do control up, and that is his neck piece. Now that we've got that in place, let's start building out his rib cage. So we're going to go on the third one in here, and we're going to do control D, and we need to move it out, and then control D and control D until we have four of them. Let's do that on the other side as well. Control D, bring it out at us, and control D and control D. Now we need to go all the way across. I'm going to click on this one so it switches the copies. Control D, and I want to move that way, and then control D until they connect. There are two that are empty. We'll delete those real quick. They're in the middle. I'll make sure I'm lined up and go delete and delete. And then let's do this neck piece. I'm going to do control D and control up. Click somewhere else and then click on this one because we want to cancel our old move. And then do control D and over and control D all the way across until it matches. If you look back here, Jack did the same process down below. So let's click on this one and do control D. Bring the piece towards us and do duplicate, duplicate. And then do the same thing on this side, control D. Bring that one towards us and do control D and control D. I'm gonna switch sides so it cancels my duplicate and do control D and let's go over. Wrong click, there it is. And then do control D all the way across. We need the row across the middle. Let's try and be real slick about this. I'm going to grab just that row, 10 shapes, control D, control up. Bam. If you're looking closely, you'll see that Jack did some fun stuff with the colors here. That does make it look a lot more cool. I will work on those when I'm done. Right now, I'm just going to add this row below. So once again, we're going to select all 10, control D and control down. And then I'm going to do this again, control D again. And I'm going to delete the pieces that didn't really exist. You can see that this piece didn't exist, and this piece didn't exist in his. I'm going to do this super quick by just grabbing that row as well, and doing Control D and Control Down. And then just delete the pieces that are missing. So you can see there are two right down here at the bottom. Make sure I got one in and one up. Bingo. Delete. Delete. Let's make sure up above we're good. And yes, that is our sweet rib cage. Let's see if I can do his color scheme really quick because it does look way cooler than mine. I'm going to shift click one and then down all the way across and then one and let's pick a different gray. I'm going to still stay with presets and I'm going to go to this preset and then I'm going to do the same thing down here. It is one down, shift, click, 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 click 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 and let's find that other gray and that is pretty close to what Jack has created all right friends so the head is eight by eight let's do this like this once again select that top row that says 10 
and let's do control D and control up. Let's delete one on each end. So there's our eight. It needs to come out to the front. So notice I looked straight across, make sure I have all eight, which I only had five. So I'm gonna drag a little lower. There I've got all eight and I'm gonna move this out to the front. That is the first piece of his head. Let's do control D and we'll nudge that back. Make sure you nudge the correct way. There's number two, and if we do control D again, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is one layer of his head. I'm gonna select that entire layer by looking at it straight, and I'm gonna do control D, and I'm gonna do control up. Friends, we're gonna do something a little different here. I'm going to shift click and hide this side. So I'm taking away six. And then I'm gonna try and grab this six. Let's see if I can do it real sneaky. Yes, it says six. And I'm gonna hide those as well. Now friends, the reason I did that is I wanna grab everything in the middle and delete it. I've still got a bottom. When I hit show all, I have got a frame so that when we build our head, it is hollow and we use less bricks. This technique is going to be super valuable as our shapes start getting more and more complex. So I've got my 28. I do control D, control up, and then we can do control D again and again and again until we get to the top. Then I'm going to grab that bottom row. Notice I'm just doing a skinny sliver. It's got the eight times eight is 64 and I'm going to do control D and do control up and fill in the top. If you click on one of these center ones and hide it you can peek in and you can see it is hollow inside let's bring it back and let's real quickly put on eyes remember we're going up four over one so there's up four over one and I'm gonna do shift click and I'm gonna do shift click and I'm gonna make those black and let's look at his mouth it's all the way across one Shift click two, three, four, five, six, and I'm gonna make them black. And then real quickly, let's add the cool hair touch that he put in. Looks like he goes back five of these and does the darker gray, which is really cool. And then he does two up here. And then there's two that are hollow or the other gray. I'm not sure if that's for a reason, but I'm gonna put it that way just because that is how the artist interpreted it. Alrighty friends, so once again, I wanna thank Jack for all the cool work he did in this. Friends, I hope you have a ton of fun with these, and if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.